So this is the 1453 Panorama Museum. Why 1453? Because 1453 was the year when the Ottomans breached the walls of Constantinople and conquered the city from the Romans. And yeah, the wall, the actual section where the Ottomans broke the wall is just around here. I think over there because the walls are over there behind the museum. So yeah, I bought some chocolates before entering and let's check it out. The city of Constantinople was established by Roman Emperor Constantine I in, uh, I don't know the year, but it's like 300 or 400 something or maybe 500 and uh, it lasted until 1453, so nearly a thousand years and there has been, there were numerous sieges of Constantinople How did the Ottomans succeed? Where so many others failed? And the answer is this The Ottomans had this new technology, the cannon, which after pounding and pounding and pounding the walls with cannonballs, they were able to breach them, something no other empire had done before. And there is Sultan Mehmed II also known as Mehmed the Conqueror the guy who conquered the Roman Empire for good Osman the First the founder of the Ottoman House let's see, who do I know from you? I know this guy, Bezi the First he was captured by Central Asian, con Central Asian conqueror Timur, the grandfather of Babur, the first Mughal emperor. Mehmed the first, Mehmed the second, who conquered Constantinople, Istanbul, where we are now. It has the call Simbar. Breaching of the walls of Constantinople. Look, the Ottoman army here, and the defending Romans in the towers. The cannons, most important piece of Ottoman artillery, and the walls surrounding the entire Golden Order. In this part here to the sea and back and over there must be Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror We see the Sultan giving moral support to his troops, let's say. Look at this cannon. The cannonballs. These were the cannonballs that were used to destroy the walls, to reach the walls. Something no other army um, could do before the Ottomans.
ticaretin önleri olarak bu tarafı kullanıyoruz. So yeah, that is it for the Panorama Museum here at the entrance of the walls of Constantinople. And speaking of which, look at them. In the far distance. It is just around here, at this very location, that the Ottomans managed to breach the walls of Constantinople just around here and yeah, so the fall of Constantinople really was one of those watershed moments in world history it led to the establishment of the Ottoman Empire which lasted until World War I and was arguably the last great Islamic Caliphate at least in territorial terms which conquered everything from North Africa to the Arabian Peninsula to the Balkans Middle East it led to the end of course of the Roman Empire and it also led because the Ottomans now controlled the trade route between Europe and Asia it led the Portuguese to find alternatives of passing through Ottoman held territory. What did they do? They sailed the coast of Africa and eventually reached India and the Indian Ocean through Africa. And it led the Spanish to sail west in search of the Indian Ocean, which ended up with the Spanish discovering, quote unquote, the American continent. And all that led to the European colonization of the world, most of the world. And yeah, here we are now. It's fascinating. Truly, the fall of Constantinople truly is one of those watershed moments in history. Okay, so since we're so close here, let's touch the wall of Constantinople section of it at least and maybe it was just here that the Ottomans breached the wall I don't know for, for sure but it's around here that's for sure okay let's now touch a section of the walls of Constantinople Oh man Okay Touching the walls of Constantinople In 3, 2, 1 There we go Oh shit 